your iPad before and you wanted to get a, a facelift and a redesign, this is the best redesign they've had. But it's not, you know, it's not from something that's completely shocking. It's really something that is addressing the idea that we're expecting something lighter and 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 more portable now that we're familiar with the idea of a tablet. And it's a lot faster, uh, but it's it's a refinement. So you know, it's a good improvement for somebody who wants to buy it. It's nothing that is something that feels like it's a completely re reinvented iPad. It's coming into a much more crowded market than previous versions of the iPad. Um, how does it stand up against the competition? In this, in this category of you know, nine inch $500 tablets, excellently, because you see that a lot of other people can't compete in providing something with that performance and that design and that platform support. You really look at the smaller tablets, I think, is where you have a question of do you go budget and you have a lot of competing people like that. You look at the iPad mini, but in the large iPad, that, that $500 price, um, even years later, I think that's still really tough to beat. So people that are willing to pay in that range are going to go for this, you think? I think so. I think you can save money and pick some other options, but generally uh, there isn't anything that's as much of a, a category killer in, in that zone. When we talk about category killers and tablets, they do seem to be coming from the Nexus 7, Kindle, you know, smaller Kindle, these consumption tablets. And uh, you know, when you deal with the idea of a, you know, Apple is, is focusing on the idea of a, a tablet doing more, and so they end up in the Microsoft Surface territory. But the, the, the total package for Surface is not a complete package in terms of where they want to be with software. And I think that's the problem, is you know, you know that, that, that item doesn't match up well compared to an iPad. I think those are the two products in that top end if you want a computer type tablet. All right, so the Surface is not the real competition. So then who is enemy number one? Is it their own iPad mini? Is it the less is more? Of no, the smaller tablets? well, I think it's Android. I think uh, you know certainly there's a huge Android landscape out there, but I think that right now the way that the Android tablet landscape is set up, that a lot of it is about consumption, Google Play, and and creating a, a usable, multi-purpose reading, video playing device uh, versus something that you may be doing a ton of work on because Google also has Chrome, so you have the idea of Chromebooks and and a and a really advanced ecosystem. But it's like if Chrome and Android got together, then you might have the killer tablet. But because of that split, I think there's a little sense at the top end that maybe it's not quite as versatile as something like an iPad. So I still think the iPad has an advantage, although a lot of people may differ. There's certainly a, more competition than ever, and I think that it's, it's, it's getting to be where it's not the only game in town, certainly.